On November 14th, we presented before you as a body of believers, Daniel Jackson, as a candidate for deacon over audiovisual ministry. And uh, we were convinced as elders of his uh, eminent qualifications, according to 1 Timothy 3, 8 through 13. And we have presented him before you for your consideration and for your input. And that audiovisual ministry, as you know, is just critical to our Lord's Day corporate gathering. We all benefit from that uh, very uh, technical uh, and, and critical and uh, invisible service that happens in the back of this room. And um, it, it requires a remarkable combination of selfless service, godly character, submission to the biblical doctrine and philosophy of the elders of this church, uh, combined with the technical skill that's required for pushing all those buttons back there at the right time. And so uh, those of you uh, who have been home and needing live stream have benefited from that ministry as well. Uh, as, uh, as well as all of us week in and week out for the uh, various equipping ministries that happen, as well as our Lord's Day gathering. So uh, I recognize that November 14th was eight Sundays ago. Our bylaws dictate that we give you four weeks to give input, but four weeks went by and nobody said anything bad about Daniel. So we thought we'd give you a little more extra time to give a balanced input. Uh, it is still very imbalanced, I kid. Uh, there was some family illness and Christmas and those kinds of things. But here we are, uh, eight Sundays later, and the input we've received about Daniel's life and his ministry has just been exemplary. So thank you for those who have given input. It's our joy at this point to commission Daniel, uh, Daniel Jackson as deacon uh, for audiovisual ministry at this church. So I'd like to ask Daniel and Liz to come on up. We're going to embarrass you, uh, invisible servants who don't like to be visible. Um, Come on up. And any elders in the room, come on up, and uh, we'll just pray for Daniel and his ministry and for this church and commission him to the office of deacon. And you guys can remain on the floor, and uh, the men can put hands on you, and I'll pray from here. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, what a joy it is to uh, recognize a servant uh, who has sought not to be recognized, who has given faithfully of time, energy, uh, who has poured his life into a critical ministry of the church that we all benefit from without thinking much about it. Uh, what, a, what a great exemplary example of what it means to be a deacon, a uh, humble, lowly servant uh, doing critical things that benefit the life of the church. And, um, we would just extol you for your grace and your work in Daniel's life. Uh, we thank you for uh, the input and the uh, support of Liz, his wife, and for all of their family. Uh, we pray now, even as we thank you for the service he's already rendered, looking forward to all that you will do in and through him in this ministry, uh, we pray that it would be a benefit to the body of Christ, to the building up of the saints, for your glory, for the progress of the gospel to the ends of the earth. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.